All right, bro, a very important mantra that you should start saying to yourself is, this too shall pass. Everything heals with time. And what you will find is that when you're in the middle of a very hard situation, your mental state will be at its all time worst in that moment. But if you just give it a second, give it another second and another second, what you will find is that your emotions won't be so interconnected to the terrible situation that's going on, and you may start to think a bit more rationally the more time you give. So something that you have to learn is that you should not connect big decisions to current emotional feelings. You just should not. It's, it's not wise, right? If I'm very angry at somebody because they said something mean about me, am I going to go punch them in the face? No, because that's going off of my instant emotion. That's anger. So what should I do instead? Let's say, because uh, like, okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say there's like a little, little, little kid, little toddler at the playground, and I'm just hanging out near the playground at the park. And he runs up to me as I'm walking on the sidewalk, and he says, hey, hey you're a duty head. Now, my first instinct, should it be to punt the kid across the playground? No, it should not. That would be... First of all, probably not accepted amongst society, and I'd probably go to a detention center for it. But thirdly, that would be giving in to my emotions. You may have heard about stoicism before. Now, I'm not big on it, but I, I, I've i tried it. It seems pretty cool, but I don't read books about it and all that. I just, I just have heard about it from some people, right? Stoicism is this philosophy by Marcus Aurelius, and... It's basically just be a rock, be an emotionless rock. Now that's not the whole thing summed up. There's actually a lot more deeper meaning to it. And there's actually a couple practices I take from it, such as the memento mori meditation practice. Now, being a stoic doesn't mean you have zero emotion. That was just a quick way to describe it. But if you really wanna know about stoicism, uh, the daily stoic, I believe his name is on YouTube, check him out, but yes. You cannot, I'll go back to the example from earlier. If there's a little child just annoying you, calling you a duty head, you can't punt him across the playground <laughs> because that would be giving in to your original, just first emotion, right? The glasses are coming on for this. Now, how do we deal with this? Well, we take a second and we breathe. So, it may not be a little child calling you a duty head. It may be a very overwhelming situation that you're in that causes you a lot of stress and anxiety. Well, how do you put that anxiety for aside for a second to make a logical and good decision? Well, first things first, you have to slow yourself down, okay? And you have to figure out what is rational in the situation and what is not. Because oftentimes, in our daily life, we give too much power to things when we really shouldn't. If, I'll give you another example because I think stories work best. Let's say one day you're walking and you have another conflict. Somebody says to you, hey man, your shoes are untied. Are you going to look down and then see your shoes are untied and then go, oh, oh my gosh, I, I, if I don't tie my shoes right now, I'm going to fall because I could trip over the shoelaces. No, of course not. You're just going to tie the shoes, right? So you have to figure out what is rational in that situation. Well, what is rational is that my shoes are untied. Irrational is that I'm going to trip over the shoelaces and fall on my face. Now, that basic situation is so, you know, so surface level, but it could apply to other aspects of life. I felt that that was a good example because, well, it's easy to describe to you. So use that in other scenarios accordingly in your life. Wow, after taking those glasses off, it is bright. Okay, bro. Damn. Well then. So, as I mentioned before, your emotions have to be in your control. It's not very easy. I'll be honest with you. I struggle with this as well. I have a hard time with not speaking my truth if somebody says something that i just disagree with i have a hard time with just going all right yeah, yeah you got that bro right and i should just ignore a lot of it 
Like, who cares about having arguments? They don't benefit me in any way. But sometimes I still try to get my point across. But it's not important at all. It just leads to an argument that doesn't even need to happen in the first place. Anyway, I hope this video provided some value to you. And if it did, that's fantastic. Discord link, top link in the description. If you like what I'm saying, you like my message, go check it out. As always, keep God first. Good luck, bro. <laughs> that was so corny.